Okay, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about Easy Wi-Fi Broadcast, a new project I'm starting, so I figured I'd make some videos to go along with it so everyone else can see how I did it. So this will just be a quick introduction video. So mainly, if you search Easy Wi-Fi Broadcast, the first thing that comes up is the GitHub with the wiki, so we'll go there. Um, and then there's a big thread on RC groups. There's also a thread on FPV lab, but it doesn't really seem to be popular over there. So we'll be going to the RC groups one. <coughs> so if you click on the wiki, um, it's a pretty well laid out one. There's the download links for the images right now, the best newest stable version is version 1.5 so we'll be getting those later um, then it tells you how to install and set up seems pretty easy I'll be doing a video on that later as well uh, there's a link to the wire instructions which is important and double important so I'll be definitely doing a video on that too and then it talks about configuration probably do a video on that too and then it talks about the features so just in case you didn't know easy wi-fi broadcast is an extension of the well here i think it says to make use of Befiniti, Befinitiv's wi-fi broadcast project um kind of in an easier way you don't have to do any linux or anything so it's kind of well easier version I guess so it's pretty much high definition FPV using Wi-Fi except it's set up differently to be more like analog video not like the crappy Wi-Fi you see on cheap toys where you have to look on your phone and it's usually laggy and breaks up bad and everything this is set up to act more like analog video but still well, it says here the max possible resolution is 1080p at 30 frames per second, so that's pretty good. And the latency is roughly around 110, I think, milliseconds. So you can pretty much use any uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, it does say the receiver Pi needs to be at least a Pi 2. So... Yeah, maybe in the future I'll be doing a video with Pi Zero as a transmitter, but for now, I plan to put it on bigger stuff, so no big deal. Uh, use Wi-Fi cards as transmitting and receiving, so you can use the 2.4 band or the 5.8 band. The range, supposedly you can get up to 2 kilometers with high power cards on 2.5 gigahertz. We'll test that out eventually in the future. Configuration is done with Windows, no Linux knowledge required, which is good. Um, you can have a second screen by USB tethering on your phone. I'll probably try out that. Um, you can also do Ethernet, hot, Wi-Fi hotspot, and relay. I don't, don't know if I'll be doing that. The first screen you just plug into the HDMI. So I'll be using my goggles too that I just got for that. Um, what else? You can use diversity, three sticks receiving or two sticks transmitting, which I think is still experimental, but maybe we'll do that. It has integrated OSD for Mavlink, FR, Sky, and LTM. So I'll be definitely doing that. Uh, here, yeah, it says handles similar to analog gear, smooth, stutter-free video, stable in multipathing environments, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, it's set up. It's intended to be used for FPV. It's not just using Wi-Fi streaming or whatever, which isn't really optimized for FPV usages. Um, okay, so that's kind of an overall general what it's all about. And then the wiki talks, there's a link to cards and dongles. It talks about screens you can use. Well, the goggles one works, so I'm assuming my goggles two will work. And pretty much all the Raspberry Pis work, and the official Pi Cam 1 and version 2. And then there's just a note on the bottom saying that the Raspberry Pi 1 and the Raspberry Pi 0 are kind of maxed out with the standard settings. 
so you can't do any fancy things with them but that's fine so yeah that's kind of the wiki and there's links in the cards with a bunch of other things maybe we'll get or links in the sidebar here there's some how to's setting up telemetry bi-directional I'm not really interested in USB tethering hotspot ground recording I'll probably try RC over Wi-Fi broadcast I'm not really too interested in um, this I will be interested in though downloading the FPV VR app for your Android phone um, I'll probably be doing a video on that at some point not right away but eventually in the future so yeah, that's the wiki, which is like kind of the home base for the project. And the second home base, I think, is the RC Groups page. It's got 208 pages of people talking about it and figuring things out. Radizio is kind of the main man who heads up stuff. And the first post talks a lot about the same things as the wiki does. There's change logs for 1.5, and you can see what 1.4 was like. And there's some videos. And here's a bunch of images of, well, Raspberry Pis, cameras, um, Wi-Fi cards, etc., etc. So yeah, the the um, RC Group's forum page is a good place to check stuff out too. So I just want to make a quick little intro video kind of explain what it's all about and I'll be doing more videos in the future as I get set up but basically you have high definition FPV with low lag uh, for pretty cheap I'll talk about the hardware in the next video probably what I got and what I'm using and how it all goes together but it's a lot cheaper than the other off-the-shelf solutions like the ProSight or the Lightbridge or any of those others so, yeah, that's what it's all about, and stay tuned for more videos.